Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. Now a few weeks back the good people at Andar got in touch and asked if I would like to have a look at their wallets. And being a big wallet fan, it's the holy trinity for me. Wallets, watches and bags, they're just my favourite part of the whole kind of EDC scene. So, I mean, I politely snatch the hand off yes of course i'd love to uh, i'd love to have a look uh, so we've got a couple to look at today we've got the apollo and we've also got the pilot now before we get into this it's only right to say a huge thank you to uh, andor for sending these my way i'm always humbled whenever somebody gets in touch and asks if i'd like to have a look at their products so yes a huge thank you now stay tuned to the end they have given me a um uh, a, a discount code so I will make sure I add that at the end and I'll give you all of the links and everything but yes for now let's take a closer look at the Apollo and the pilot so what we'll do is we'll have a look at both of these uh, this is the Apollo and this is the pilot and they've been good enough to send me two Apollos um, but yeah so we'll just put we'll just put the pilot to one side for now um, the unboxing kind of process is very simple but it's also very high end these boxes are very nice um, you've got a little bit of information here on the back about the Apollo uh, and then you, you pull this little tab I love the little feature that they put on here so here at the bottom uh, this leather tab that is here is um, also the same leather that is used for the color coding within so I'm guessing they're probably using old recycled called leather or cutoffs which I think that's a great thing to do because you know they probably do have lots of leather cutoffs uh, so I've actually got so this is the version that I have been using here as far as colors are concerned there are nine different colors eight of the nine colors are all made with real natural leather which has that I'm doing this off camera but uh, it has that really nice leather smell. There is also um, an, a, a, an addition, one of the colors, which I, I, I'm guessing is called the Saguro color. Uh, that is made with a cactus leather, just in case you're a vegan and um, you don't want cows to die, but you're happy for cactuses to, um, yes, we'll use their skins instead. So now I've got another color in here. So if you can see, this is the gray, and then we've got this other, nice beautiful brown and you get to see as I mentioned here here are the accents for each of these absolutely stunning so this one is brand new or at least I mean they're, that made they're both brand new nobody has used these before um, however this hasn't been in my pocket whereas this one you can see just around the sides we're starting to wear on the corners so just gives you an idea of um, how these will start to look after how long have I had these now it's, 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 it's easily a month that I've had these because I have been carrying this in my pocket for the last month because I, I remember when I went away on holiday I'd, I'd got this then um, but yes you'll be able to see it will start to contour it will start to have that beautiful patina um, that you get from leather wallets um, but yes they, they, they are identical um, as far as the insides are concerned so I'll just put that to one side for a second and we'll go through this version of the Apollo this is the one that I've been carrying um, for the last uh, the last the last month or so as far as your measurements are concerned as this is a US uh, company let's do it in old-fashioned money so it's four and four uh, four and one eighths of an inch by two and seven eighths of an inch by three eighths of an inch thick yeah, I have to double check my notes on those because millimeters is just so much easier but anyway um, very nice it's just it has that perfect um, minimalist size the footprint on this so here is a standard credit or debit card you can see that it fits just perfectly around there which you'd expect you know you have to have the leather um, where, where it's sewn together um, it is a little bit wider than some minimalist wallets but I think that's mainly due to the fact that it is a bifold rather than just a card holder which which is fine um, I think when you're looking at minimalist wallets and you're looking at ultra kind of minimalist wallets your ultra minimalist wallets is just a card holder which would essentially be just half of this as you can see you've got cards in the back and cards there um, 
need to double check actually because I'd love to see something like that from Andor so I'll, I'll have a double check to see um, uh, whether it's just we can get just card holders but yes so this this is a bifold it opens up it butterflies open so that you can get into your cards now cards wise um, the website says you can carry between one to ten cards with this and there's plenty of different places that you can put them for cards that you use the most and cards that you use infrequently. On the outside here, you have this uh, little push pocket so you can put a card. The way that I've been using this, so I carry, um, I guess I carry six cards, I was gonna say five, but you know, I also have my ID with me as well, my driving license. In here, in the front, I keep my credit or debit card that I use the most. It's super simple to be able to get that out and push it back in again when it's needed. On the inside, I'm just gonna take this cash, put that there to one second, because we will have a look at how British or English cash, English, is English, British, you know, it's, it's all the same cash unless you've got Royal Bank of Scotland notes. But anyway, um, how, how this all fits into here. So on the inside then, on the left-hand side here, there are some additional card slots. So I've had two cards in here. Uh, and then you can also, so if there are maybe certain cards that you use a little bit less, some cards that you use a little bit more, um, then you can put those and you can separate those out as well, which I think is great. Um, this is exactly, so these, uh, these card, this card on the outside and these two cards here is exactly how I've been carrying it. Then on the right hand side here you have an ID window and oh, look there's one of my mall under EDC business cards. Um, so yes, so that fits in there perfectly. Uh, here in the UK driving license fits in, you get to see all of the details that you need to. We don't, I suppose there are a few different uh, ID cards that we have, but they're not particularly government registered ID cards, but they all fit in there as well, perfectly as well. On this side then, you also have a little sneaky uh, kind of hidden away section. So if I pinch this, you'll be able to see that this just opens ever so slightly. And this is fully lined in there. I believe these are aligned as well. Let's double check these. So these are lined. I'm sure they are. Yes, they are. Um, which again adds just this really nice touch and aesthetic to it um, When your cards slide in there, they slide in there without any issues whatsoever uh, But yes on the outside here So I've got another couple of cards in here and then you have a really nice little pull and it will then be able to access or at least it will actuate something to bring those cards out for you as well the pull on this has rather than it just being so, so some of these pulls you, you pull it and then you have to push the cards back in for that then to go in uh, but they've they've added a bit of elastic to this so that it will always go back just in case you I don't know let's say you get this snagged on your pocket or whatever you're doing with it uh, and then it comes out it will it will always just pop back in uh, but yes they fit perfectly in there as well very nice construction of this really nice all of the stitching is beautifully done um, and yes so on the inside here you can see that it's just starting to I say where I don't really mean where I mean that it's starting to get those lines that you can see it's been it's been in my pocket the back here is now slightly bowed uh, where it's been against my bum I'm a rear rear pocket carrier whereas this side has started to so I, I guess this is convex and that's kind of concave and then on the inside where this uh, where the where the pull cords there's you can just you get a little bit of an indentation on either side where um, where that pull cord sits but it's definitely not anything that would um, make it feel uncomfortable in the pocket uh, you, you simply just don't notice at all now there is the added option with this of a cash clip so I'm just going to take this out for a second mainly because you'd see you'd look at this and you think right if I'm going to have to sit on that it's going to be uncomfortable uh, but this is it is a spring if I do that I'm probably not going to be able to pick it up as far as how quickly it bounces back if you wanted to take this out as you just noticed it will just slide out you can push the leather back down there and then it will take a little bit out of that corner as far as the weight's concerned just don't even concern yourself it, it, it's it's next to nothing when it's in there um, if you want to put it back in it just slides in and sits in place 
Now, as far as notes are concerned, we have some here with Her Majesty on. These are, I say old notes, but we just haven't got round to, uh, to changing these yet with King Charles. Um, but I'm going to put them in in reverse order. So we have a 20, we have a 10 and a 5. British notes are reasonably large, and that's the way that I've done this specifically. So you slide it underneath there, you close it up, and then you'll be able to see. So unfortunately, so the, the 20 sticks out by... Oh, so we've just gone out of focus there. Sorry about that. The 20 sticks out by about 4 maybe five millimeters. The 10 is just over, maybe a millimeter or so over. Whereas the five, the five fits in there perfectly and it, it doesn't it doesn't overlap the side of the wallet. Um, you might be able to see, so there's, you can definitely see the 20. You might be able to see the 10 if I pull that to one side. Actually, if I pull that there, you'd be able to see the 10. Um, which is a shame, but it's certainly not a bad thing. I mean, I, I, I had to find some cash to put in here. I don't carry cash, so um, it would be great if it was just a little bit wider, I think, for British notes. But, I mean, I'm splitting hairs here as far as this wallet is concerned. It's a beautiful wallet and, yeah, high, highly recommended. Now there was another one, as I mentioned. So this is the, so this is the pilot. What I'm gonna do quickly is, because I think it's just about to rain, that's sod's law. Here we have the cards. Take these cards out of here. So the pilot, similarly, they have this beautiful unboxing process and a little thank you for your purchase. Size-wise, they're pretty much identical. The difference with the Pilot is, this has one of these mechanisms that actuates uh, something in there so that you can get your cards out. Um, how I've had this, and a little sticker as well, so how I have been using this is I've been putting the cards that I use the most here in the front, which is my credit or debit card. Um, and then behind there, so here I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, I've got, I've got six cards. So you can fit six cards into there and should you need them, you press the button on the bottom and then they will pop out. Very similar to some other uh, card openers like we have seen in the past. The difference with this one is that all of your construction, it's all held behind this really nice leather, which is the same leather uh, from, the, from the other wallets. What that allows is, um, is allows on the flip side, we have this nice little cash strap on here. So again, if you are the type of person that does carry a little bit of cash, you can put that in there as well, and that will keep it protected. I will say, so it's perfect for a 10 and a 20, uh, sorry, a, a 10 and a five. The 20 is just a little bit wee wider, whereas if you do a triple fold, and then push that in, you don't get any issues. Come on, go in. You don't get any issues with that, and you can also just angle it ever so slightly so that it will fit in there like that. The mechanism on this is really nice. Oh, I forgot to also mention, so all of these are RFID blocking. It is just starting to rain, that's just my look, but perfectly timed. So yes, these are all RFID blocking, so if you're concerned about security, you can put your cards into these and rest assured that they will stay nice and safe. And our wallets are high quality. They really are, from the materials that they make them from. The leather, there's just something about leather. Obviously it's nice to the touch, it's great that it ages, it's a natural product but there's just that smell about it as well. I think there's there's only so many different things out there that have that look and feel and ambiance to them. Um, but leather really just, you can't beat it for such a, a beautiful natural material. Um, so yeah, I really, really enjoyed testing out these wallets. Again, I want to say a huge thank you to the team, uh, Destiny over at uh, Andar, yes. Really appreciate you getting in touch and look forward to making future pieces of content with you guys. Um, but I also did mention that there would be a discount code. So if you use the code Morlander, you'll be able to receive 15% off your discount uh, and help to support my channel for future pieces of content as well. Now I'll leave all of the links below so that you can see more from Andar uh, and the social media links as well. I'll leave some of my social media links to 
But for now, as always, stay safe, stay Moorlander, and stay EDC. Let's move the microphone. Bop, 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 bop. Did it again. I started the waffle and forgot to hit record. I do that a lot. The camera turns off after like 30 seconds, so you get 30 seconds in, and you're like, oh, what? And then it turns off, and you're like, Nob. Now where was I? Come on, focus, focus. That's a that's a comedian that used to say that. That's not weird. You're having a laugh, aren't you, Mr. Rain Weatherman? I knew you'd do that. You just can't help but sniff. I think that's the thing. Oh, it smells so good. There's probably also a little bit of my back pocket sweat as well, which makes it even better. I should sell this. If I sold this, could you imagine people try and clone me? That would be weird. One's enough. I am unique. I hope you're having a good day, by the way. I think we're releasing this on a Friday. I don't usually do a Friday. Very busy weekend, so look ahead. There's some great content coming out this weekend. Uh, but for now, have a great Friday evening. Okay, cool. See you in a bit.